Hi guys, thanks again for tuning into my channel. Now today I just want to make a quick video about the Amazon Echo Show 8, right? So these are becoming more popular nowadays as your smart uh, display uh, device. The main reason actually I purchased this was to replace my existing Lenovo smart clock, all right? It does pretty much the same thing, just a bigger screen, right? But it's too small. I have this in my bedroom and uh, it does show a slideshow of photos as well at time and also the, uh, the temperature. I wanted to make it bigger, right? So now I have this in my kitchen. And not only that, it integrates with all my Alexa system. Okay, now that I've got Sonos, I have Alexa built in on it. And also I have the ring devices so I can see, you know, who's at the front door, right? And I've got like smart lights as well. So it's basically like a seamless integration. It's easy to set up. Plus I believe Alexa, I don't know, it's just me. I, I believe, it, you know, she, she recognizes our voice better uh, rather than Google. I have this set up as a radio now on my kitchen to listen to my favorite radio stations in the Philippines. And not only that, you know, it integrates with my Amazon Music services as well. Now, like I said earlier, the, the main reason why I purchased this is, is to play all my photos on my phone, right? So rather than just having all your photos stored on your phone and, you know, you don't go through them, it's time to play your memories. Now, if you've got an Amazon subscription, you can actually have unlimited photo storage. Okay, like me personally, I, I am an Amazon Prime subscriber, so I get the free or unlimited photos and also the Prime videos as well. Now, compared to other devices, aside from the Lenovo Smart Clock, uh, there's the Echo 5, which is the five inch, and also the Echo 10 inches. So the big difference is, of course, the sizes between all those three. The 5 is too small for my taste since I'm upgrading, you know, from this device. I'd rather step up a little bit. Now, the Echo 10 is too big for me, so that's why I'm just going to stick with the 8 plus the, the price, okay? It's, it's almost double, right? I got this for a really good deal on Amazon uh, when they were on sale. So be sure to check the product link in the description as well. Now, should you buy this? It depends on you, you know, if you've got an Alexa system already and, and that's, you know, the system that you like, then yes, right? The main reason I bought it is basically to, to play like slideshows of, of my photos on my phone. As a photographer, I want to see all my photos aside from, you know, printing them on a big canvas. I want to see them show, you know, like on a slideshow. Now, there's one thing I wish it does have is YouTube integration. It does play YouTube videos through their own Amazon Silk browser, but you still have to, you know, navigate with your with your fingertips. You cannot stream directly from your phone, um, as far as I know, and at the time of this recording. Now, if you've got an iPhone, it doesn't cast the video from YouTube, so I still have to like touch it, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. There you have it. Now, who's this for? If you're into photos like me and wanted to play slideshows of your photo, okay, instead of like storing them on your phone. Plus, if you're looking to get an almost all-in-one device, you know, in your kitchen, as I say, to play radio, YouTube, you know, ambience music, and to control other smart devices, this would be something I would recommend. Now, as part of this video, I just want to say that I recently launched a website blog okay, about uh, photography tips and how you can save on, you know, save on tech. This is actually part of the list there. You'll see that there's a topic about uh, top gifts for photographers. Be sure to check that out. I'll be posting links at the bottom. So thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe in my channel, you know, for future recommendation videos about photography and tech related stuff. We'll see you next week.